Hi, and welcome back to Pittman's Pumpkin Patch, Pittman's Garden Patch. It is March the 29th, 2016, and you, my friends, are getting to see for the first time like I am, apple blossoms, the beginning of apple blossoms, or flowers, on my apple trees for the first time. I'm so excited, I'm so like, yes! I mean, there's no mistaking that this is uh, a flower. Uh, this is a fruiting spur. Let me show you how that looks like right under there. All right, so it comes out here, yellow green, and then bam. And it's not that's not the only one right up here. Flower, flower. Um, flower right there and this is all on one branch all these flowers that I'm showing you right for are on that branch right there I am sure there's going to be more to come on here this is just starting to break bud this is my um, let's see was this my Fuji or is this a Gale I can't remember I always mix those two up let's check the tag it is a Fuji Fuji apple and uh, so this is awesome this is probably a fruiting spur right here it's just now beginning to wake up where others have already woken up a little bit okay so beginning to break bud here leaf buds and fruiting spurs for the very first time I'm so excited um, over here on my um, my honey crisp apple tree it this is not budded out yet but it's starting to get a little um, the, the tips are starting to uh, get the little downy soft little edgings to it right there uh, the honey crisp is about usually two weeks behind the Fuji and everything whether it's bud break uh, or whatnot it's it and uh, it's about two weeks behind so my uh, question, if anybody can tell me, you know, how long do flower blossoms uh, stay open? Like if it's a squash or zucchini or pumpkin, it stays open maybe five or six hours, you know, and then that's it. You know, the, the, seeing how the Honeycrisp is about two weeks behind the Fuji, will the Fuji blossom still be open when the Honeycrisp's open? Um, I don't know. I'm hoping so because you need cross pollination to get this to, to get them to work, right? So, and then another thing I thought about, you know, if when the Fuji opens up those when those petal uh, flowers bloom, you know, not only do you have to see hopefully it lasts long enough for the uh, honeycrisp, but what about the bees and other insects coming in and taking the pollen out of the Fuji flowers? Will there be enough pollen left over by the time the Honeycrisp bloom to cross pollinate, or will all the pollen be taken up by bees and other things? You know, maybe I need to put something over those flower blossoms to protect them from being raided by uh, bees and other things. And then um, when the Honeycrisp catches up and those flowers open up, then I can. Uh, take the maybe Ziploc bags or something off of them just a thought so if anybody has any ideas or you know, please let me know um, my blueberries are in full bloom it's very windy out here today so sorry for that but the wind I am is gonna help get these pollinated so all right, everything's starting to come alive. I'm hoping to get out here to do some strawberry planting today uh, and get those uh, put out into my beds here. Got some goji berry plants right there. That one survived rabbit attacks over the winter. This one right there, I protected with some hardware cloth. Um, so it's doing a lot better than what the other one was. I didn't get to it at the time. And let's come over here, here are the great plants 
and um, the perlets haven't really done anything just yet but the um, uh, what am I talking about the uh, Concord that we're looking at right here has, has broken bud in some areas and uh, nothing going on with the uh, with the flame variety well I take that back there's a little bit of leaf bud um, leaf budding out on the on the flame okay and here's my other goji berry plant and I do not see any flowers here yet but that's okay because it's not really time for that look at my onions these are the ones I planted back in uh, late August early September or so last year and uh, they've survived the winter and they're growing really well leeks over there this is my red Russian kale it's we've been using quite a bit mainly to help feed the rabbit and I so I feed the rabbit some of the kale and I use his uh, I guess rabbit castings <laughs> to um, fertilize my uh, garden here are my blackberries that uh, broken bud and, uh, I think I see is that a flower I see down on one of them let's go check that out I don't think so but I saw something white no my mistake <laughs> that's okay a little early for flowers all right, so from Pittman's Pumpkin Patch, Pittman's Garden Patch, you all take care now. All right, comments or questions, please post them below. Thanks.